Hey everyone, not sealed here. Today we're going to be looking at this uh, steam iron that failed on us. Start by grabbing a screwdriver and prising off the back. Make sure the power is disconnected. We don't want to have any uh, little electrical accidents. You may have a couple of screws in the back that you might need to disconnect to uh, remove this back panel first. Oh, and look at that, just as I suspected, uh, broken wire. Looks like it's the neutral wire that's come disconnected. This will be an easy fix, all we need to do is just push it back on, but we need to work out why it's disconnected. And looks like this cable here can slide freely. It should be clamped down, but for some reason over time it's uh, worn out. To stop this cable popping out again, all we need to do is put a cable tie on the end. A small one will do fine. You put one or two, just use a small one and then chop off the end. One quick note to mention is I emptied the iron full of water, so when we're throwing it around, moving it around, water doesn't come out and get into electronics. Okay, we're just about ready to wire it up now. So we'll grab our neutral wire, which is the blue one. The red one is the active wire. The yellow and green is the earth wire. Luckily, the uh, electric wire push connector is still intact, so all we need to do is now just push this onto the male fitting. Done. Easy. All that's left to do now is to reattach the rear electrical cover. We can just pull the cable through a little bit to give us some more room. This will just be an easy push back fitting. If you have some screws, you'll just have to screw it in. Okay, this electric steam iron is now complete. The sunbeam is ready to go. But, looks like also the electric cord is a little bit frayed, so let's repair this. The outer sheath has started to fray, so we can pull this back down. This is the heat shield that protects your electrical wire from the steam iron if it comes in contact. So make sure the electrical cable is pushed into the plug and then overlay the heat shield so it can be screwed into position. Slide back on the plug screw cap and tighten it down very, very tightly. So this cable should not re-pull out again. All that's left for us to do now is to test out our repair job on the steam iron. So plug it into a power source and let's turn it on and see what happens. And success! We have a light on and we've got heat in the pad. So this iron is ready to go. If you like my content, you know what to do. Thanks very much.